Hey, it's Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China. Welcome to another edition of Q&A with a Coach. Today, we have a question from our friend, Stig Martin, who says, Can a person's mental strength supplement their physical strength too? And is it important to work on that? How can you work on that effectively? Mental strength, often called heart in the fight game. What is that? It's a willingness to work when the work is difficult, is what it comes down to. Heart is not magic. It's not like one of those movies where the guy is getting badly beaten to the point of death and then he just magically lifts himself up off the mat and wins the fight. Those movies are fun to watch, but they're not realistic. There was this Indian movie, what was it called? Uh, Sultan? Sultan, I think? Um, it is a comically crazy, awesome, weird movie about this guy who learns how to wrestle because he loves this, he falls in love with this girl who is an Olympic wrestler. And so he thinks, if I learn wrestling, I can woo her. And so he, he becomes the world's greatest wrestler to impress this girl. And within a relatively short amount of time, he, he becomes an Olympic wrestler, wins the gold medal in the Olympics, and then goes on to win like every major world wrestling championship ever. And then he becomes the world's greatest MMA fighter. And, uh... Oh, man, which... Blanking on the guy's name. A UFC fighter plays a part in this, uh, in this movie. Um, it'll come to me, but anyway. So Sultan, the main character, he's having this fight with his actual UFC fighter, going by his real name in real life. And... <laughs> And he's, he's getting his butt kicked for a while, and he gets knocked out. And in a real fight, well, a referee would call that a knockout instantly. But in movie land, the guy gets up from being knocked out, slowly has some flashback for effects on his training, and then wins the fight. Okay, that's not what heart is. That, that's a fantasy. Heart is a willingness to do work. It's not a magical ability to negate damage. It's the willingness to do work. That is what mental strength is. If your time to work out is early in the morning and it's tough to wake up early in the morning, it's cold outside, it's dark, it's not comfortable, the mentally weak stay in bed. And they tell themselves, I don't have time. I can't make time for it. But the mentally strong say, this sucks, but I'm going to do it anyway. I will. It's like the little red hen. The little red hen from that story was mentally strong. I love that story. If you don't know that story, it's about a little red hen who found some wheat and then went home to her roommates, a cat, a dog, and a mouse, and said, Hey guys, I found some wheat. Let's plant it. So we can grow some wheat and, and make some flour and then make a cake. It's going to be awesome. But it's going to be work. Who will help me plant the wheat? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And so she did. The wheat grew. The hen came back to her friends and said, Who will help me harvest the wheat? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the rat. Then I will, said the little red hen. And so she did. It's time to go to the mill to ground this wheat into, into flour. Who will come with me to help carry it there and back again? Not I. Not I. Not I said her friends, friends, then I will. And so she did. She comes back with the flour from the mill. Who will help me bake this flour into a cake? Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And so she did. And when it tame, came time to eat that cake, who will help eat the cake? I will, said everybody. I will do the easy part. 
I will, said the little red hen. And so she did. She did the work. She got the reward. That's mental strength. If you focus on the reward, which is really easy to do in combat sports, because the reward, what is that? That's getting in the cage. That's fighting. That's getting your hand raised in victory. And the casual fan doesn't see all the work that led up to that. The casual fan does not see planting the seeds and harvesting them and grinding them and then baking them with the fervent heat of fire. They just see that yummy cake they want to put in their mouth and swallow. But that's not mental strength. How do you develop mental strength? You work for it. When all of those voices inside of you say, Not I says your brain, because it knows better. Not I, says your body, because it's tired. Then I will, says the heart. That's true mental strength. How can you work on that effectively? You work. You do the work when the work is daunting, when the work is difficult, you say, I will. When your body cries out, I would rather not, you say, I will. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.